making an abstract uh, work of art similar to what you might see Jackson Pollock do. So I'm going to talk about how I did this and how you can do this at home. First of all, you'll notice that I'm outside and that is because it is a beautiful day, but also because I am going to be using nail polish. So nail polish off gases quite a bit uh, and it's something you might have at home. I would definitely ask your parents before doing this and I would definitely recommend doing it outside. So with that in mind, let's get started. I'm just getting a frame. Maybe you have an old picture frame at home or you have some extra frames. Uh, again, please ask your parents. And this one pops out like so. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out uh, the glass of the frame. Okay, and I'm going to put that glass down here on my table. And that's what I'm going to be working on. So uh, if you look at this finished one, uh, this is actually the back. Um, so this part right here, you can't feel any paint. The paint is on the other side. So when this goes into the frame, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take this one apart and show you how I did that uh, after I use the colors. So I've got lots of different colors here. And I'm basically going to sort of dribble some color on there. Uh, so you want to think about balancing those colors out. Um, you, can, you can paint with it a little bit if you want. Uh, and again, I'm making mine fairly abstract, but I mean, if you want it to make it more representational, make it look like a picture of something, you could. Uh, I'm just going to stick with abstract here. So, that's a lot right there. Alright, so I'm just trying to make some interesting shapes and designs with my color here. Uh, and I want to start adding some other colors in here. So let's. Ooh, I've got some green. Green's a good choice. And again, uh, because you're outside, you're not in the classroom, you know, you can sort of do a little splatter painting. I know I discourage that in the classroom because that can sometimes be a problem for the people around you. But if you don't have anybody around you, go for it. And again, I want to get some variety with colors. And keeping in mind that if I go on top of another color, you may not see it uh, because there we go. I like this color. More of it. Okay. And I'm trying to sort of put that color in different places. All right, here's another nice color, something sort of bluish. And again, because this is nail polish, uh, it is a little bit stinky. And I am doing this outside for that reason. Ooh, I like that blue. All right. Ooh, here's a really bright, bright pink. Okay, Let's see if there's any in here. And I'm recycling this nail polish. I don't actually use nail polish anymore, so this is a good way for me to use this nail polish that would otherwise be thrown away. There's not much of this in here, it's kind of thick and gooey. Alright, just get a little bit in there. All right, yeah, hot pink doesn't want to walk right. And uh, let's see, here's a dark purple. Ooh, and there's a green. Okay, let's try these. All right, so get a little bit of dark purple on there. 
Now again, what you're what you're seeing right now is not how it's going to look when it's framed. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I mean by that in a few minutes. Oh boy, he does not want to open. Okay. Now I don't have to cover the entire glass. Um, if you notice on the one I showed you earlier, uh, that glass. Let me just hold it up for a moment. There's a nice blue. Um, you can see a little sparkle. And so I'll show you what that is in just a few minutes. Maybe you can guess. Alright, and I got some more blue. So you can tell I like blues and purples. You see that a lot. In addition to the traditional sort of red colors you might normally see in nail polish. <laughs> and... My surface area is getting pretty full, so I'm going to stop here soon. Get a little more red in there. And I'm just trying to move that color around, make it interesting. All right. All right, and again. If I lift this up very carefully, I can kind of see how it'll all look in the end. It looks like I could use maybe a little bit more color down in here. Um, oh, I have another nice blue. Alright, so let's get a little bit of this blue in there. Oh yeah. This is a little thick. Okay, and again, I want to try and move it into different places throughout. All right. And once again, I can kind of lift it up and kind of see how it looks. Yeah, I'm going to call that this one done. So I'm going to go ahead and you take a look at that. Now you can, if you want to, kind of move it around and let it drip. I'm just going to set it to the side. And now I'm going to take this one and take this one apart so you can see how I finished it. Alright, so this is one I did a few days ago. Uh, it's a different kind of frame, so I'm just going to pop it open. You can really use any kind of frame. Uh, remember that the color went onto the glass, so Ooh, a little bit sticky. But what I have as a backing, this is just some foil that I crumbled up and then flattened out. Um, and I cut it to fit the glass. So this is the side um, that I poured the color onto. This is the side that would be the front, where the, you have the, the clear glass in the front. Okay, um, And so you, you need to let that dry. And then you're going to put the shiny side of the foil over it and again you're going to need to cut that to fit and put the backing of your frame on there if you don't want to use foil as a backing you can use colored paper or scrapbook paper or whatever you like you can even use newspaper or words uh, so there you have it uh, another interesting variation might be uh, having a picture or words in the center and just putting your colors around the edge to sort of create a more interesting frame. So, something to play around with, something to try. Again, please ask for your parents' permission. Uh, do this outside. Let that nail polish dry outside uh, so it's not giving off fumes. Um, it's not really something you want to breathe in in a closed space. So, I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you don't have nail polish, uh, you can try this with other kinds of paint. And again, uh, please ask for permission. Make sure you're using something that's uh, okay with your family. So, good luck. Have fun.